So today the Citrus Biodiversity Fair have been organized by the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, National Bureau for Plant Genetic Resources, New Delhi and its regional station at Umiyam in the Garo Hills of uh, Meghalaya to motivate the farmers and to assess the genetic diversity of citrus which is existing in this part of the northeast India. So as uh, you know that this area is very rich in uh, citrus genetic diversity with uh, several of the intermediate types of citrus are growing in this uh, uh, part especially in the Garo Hills and the Citrus Gene Century which is a unique gene century in the world and which is, is also uh, the World Heritage Site uh, and rich in citrus genetic diversity. So we plant under the North East uh, scheme which is a Government of India scheme uh, NBPGR has planned to have a one uh, citrus genetic biodiversity fair along with the farmers awareness program. So here we have uh, around more than 100 farmers coming from the different uh, part of the uh, Garo Hills, East, uh, West and South Garo Hills and they have brought their genetic diversity here and they have demonstrated it uh, in, uh, in the exhibition and there, are, there we, could, we could see the lot of uh, new type of the citrus here and this genetic diversity it needs urgent attention, urgent conservation uh, practices. As I heard from the different uh, local pupils and also discussed with the uh, scientists of the horticulture departments along with the, some state pupils, ki earlier the Khasi, Mandarins and uh, the Meghalaya is one of the richest producer of the uh, Khasi Mandarins. But in last 10 to 15 years, the production and plants of the jo hai, citrus losing their jo hai, productivity along with also facing the some uh, disease insect problems so after the discussion with the jo hai, head horticulture departments along with the jo hai, in charge of the tura campus and so trying to make a collaboration and uh, relation with the NPPGR to uh, conduct some program to create an awareness among the citrus or a khasi and uh, khasi mandarin growers of the uh, Meghalaya with the uh, scientists. And after the uh, today we are conducted the program to discuss the thing, the problems uh, faced by the uh, farmers and how can scientists uh, uh, intervene for the benefit of the uh, farmers. I'm, I'm a citrus researcher from the U.S. We've done a lot of work in studying the origin and evolution of citrus fruit. We have a lot of information from China, but the other part of the center of origin of citrus is right here in Northeast India. And we've visited several places to see the, the native citrus. We've been uh, to Assam, to Nagaland, to Magalia. And uh, it's, it's just very exciting for us to come and see some of these things that we've only ever read about and, and don't know in reality, but to see them here. Uh, very exciting as a researcher. But it's also important, uh, I think, for, for the world citrus industry because there are some terrible diseases, including one called citrus greening, that spread throughout the world, including here in Northeast India. And some of these wild citrus types may have genes for resistance to this. Nine <laughs> Sit pink the baby, Banga Bitrangi, Butrangan, Gumangiha, Nibakur, Pinger, Rakina, Darangbat, Chingo Dungja, Gira, Mabana Batching, and Chingba, 
เอ่อกีรกบะบางจังจกนสตวังจกบุรุงบุรุงกมางานิกมันนั่นมันตาวเยสิดเปิงโคดักคันนิจิเอ่อบะบางอาบะชรังโครุตตะบุลชรังน